So here I am on YouTube making a video about fasting. Been on TikTok for a long time. Maybe I'll upload this on TikTok. Who knows? But I upload different content on different places. So this is what we're going to do. I've been doing carnivore now for about six months. So I'm pretty used to the difference in eating. And now my body's pretty used to not having any carbs of any kind. When your body gets used to that, you can fast pretty easy, which is interesting for me because I was never able to fast as a kid. I thought, I'm just one of those people who can't fast. <laughs> I thought, oh, I'm just a person who can't do that. <laughs> I have a medical condition. I have a medical condition. I thought, oh, you know, I'm just going to always be that person at church who's sitting there enjoying food while everybody else is all grumbling. Like, oh, I'm fasting for my two meals. It's supposed to be 24 hours, but if you can't do 24 hours, do two meals. And so it's like, oh, if you can't fast, do something else, something in lieu of fasting. Now here I am, like on my third day of, of a fast. And who knows if I'll stop, but it's kind of exhilarating. I always heard that people get exhilarated on, a, on, on fasting. And I'm like, really? Exhilarated? Exhilarated, even euphoric. And I'm like, trying to understand how that happens. And I'm here on the third day of fasting, you know, which is not eating. And I'm going, okay, I get it now. I understand. I understand. Because you, once you've cleared out all of the carbs, processed crap out of your body, which takes about two weeks to 30 days, just depending on the person. Um, me, it, it took like two months to really clear out the sensation of wanting food. Um, now I really get it. I really do get it because now not hungry, not hungry at all. I, I'm kind of just really curious to see how long, how long I can go without eating to just not need food. Um, but in this day and age, everybody is so sensitive. There are so many people struggling with eating disorders. I mean, you're on TikTok and you could go several days without hearing something about Eugenia Cooney. Um, and or body positivity. There's not a lot. Body positivity has kind of gone away. There are, I don't have that many very large people in my feed. Sorry, very large people. Um, I don't have that many people dieting in my feed. Um, but there are so many people trying to do it that you're, it's, it's, you're fearful to trigger somebody who's having an eating disorder. So many people have such a disastrous relationship with food, me including. I I worry about doing this fast. I worry that I'm going to create a disastrous relationship with food. I don't want to start fasting, get um, energetic about it and feel euphoric about it and go, ooh, this is fun, you know, and get to where I'm at the, you know, anorexic point and be like, wow, this is so, what a powerful feeling because there have been so many times in my life where I felt so powerless, you know, women, women do not have it easy. We are, there are so many times in a woman's life where she does feel powerless. I haven't had a job in 20 years. I don't have any money. I was laying, I was just trying to fall asleep. And I thought, man, this is a powerful feeling. I don't have anything. 
that I have 100% control over what goes in my mouth. And I thought, man, I really sympathize with that Eugenia Cooney right now. I really do. I get it. I get her right now. Right in this moment, I get her. So...